Hey guys, well I'm out in the shop today. In the last couple of weeks, I've noticed that my chips and my parts, when I run them, they're turning dark really quick. And you can see how dark and dirty these sh chips are. I think something's going on with the coolant. I guess the pH or something's getting out of a whack. And I didn't have this problem before. I haven't really done anything to the coolant since I first installed it, which was, you know, last August or so, about a year ago probably. Over the winter months, I kept having to add coolant because it would evaporate. But during the summer, I started running a portable AC unit and I wasn't having any kind of issue with evaporation and I didn't have to add any coolant but I was using it more frequently and so I think it was either getting dirty or I, I'm not really sure what's going on I don't know if that's just the way coolant is and over a certain amount of time uh, this seems to happen a buddy of mine Wyatt said that he had to clean his coolant out because his chips were getting real dirty and he noticed it was staining his parts and I started noticing it about a couple of weeks ago so what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna drain out my coolant tank and then try to clean it out. And we'll let's take a look and we'll see what um, what it looks like. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to turn the pump on and fill these jugs up, and then drain the tank out that way. I think that'll be the easiest thing to do, and uh, hopefully that will that'll get two gallons of it out. So I'm going to turn this on and uh, fill these up. I don't know if I'll be able to reuse this coolant or not. I may try to filter it or I may just get rid of it um, and just start out fresh. The coolant itself doesn't look bad. So I'm thinking the sludge is probably just in the bottom of the tank. But we'll find out. So let me get these drained. All right, so I drained out two gallons here, and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to reuse this or not. I, don't, I really don't know if it's dirty or not. It looks okay, but um, we'll see. I may throw this into the lathe, and we'll run in. I just recently cleaned it out, and it was, it was dirty as well, and giving me the same problems. Actually, the pump, the little small pump on the lathe went out, so I had to buy another one. Not bad. Uh, I think I've been running that a couple of years for that little $16 pump, so I was pretty pleased with that. All right, so now I'm going to get this tank pulled out, and uh, we'll take a look at it. Okay, well, you can see inside the cover here. I really like this system. It seems to work really well. I did put this extra little filter here just to try to catch some of the oil that happens to flow over, but most of it most of it really stays in here. But you can see I've got this sludge build up in here. I'm going to clean this out and then we'll see what's in the bottom here. Um, can't get all the liquid out because the pump doesn't go down to the bottom to pick up so there's probably still a gallon or two in here I'm gonna drain that out and then we'll look in there and see what we've got okay so I dumped out the tank there was probably another two gallons in there and you can see I've got all this gray sludge um, I'm assuming it's a mixture of oil and the water some, somehow it got mixed in there and got a sludge to it um, hopefully this is what's causing the um, problem with the coolant turning all the chips dark and mo mostly my parts I don't really care about the chips but the parts I don't want to get the black stains on there I didn't have this originally when I first started so it took a while for it to kind of develop so I'm going to try to scrape all this out, wash the tank out as good as I can, and uh, go from there. It looks like it's all in the hose now, too. You can see this. 
I guess that's just the way it's gonna have to try to uh, filter it out a little bit better I guess so let me get this cleaned out and uh, I guess that'll wrap up this video this will be a short one I've got a lot of honeydew list stuff that I'm working on I'm doing some trim work in the house in the dining room putting some crown molding up some chair rail uh, I've got about 1500 feet of trim coming to uh, trim out the bottom of the house so uh, I gotta knock this off the honeydew list so I can get back out in the shop um, I have to split my time between the two uh, you guys know how that works so there may be a couple of delays a couple week delay in some of my videos but I'll try to get back on the Precision Matthews as quick as possible alright well it wasn't that actually that bad to clean it out it uh, actually came out pretty good I just used a little Dawn dish soap a little brush and got in there and got as much as I possibly could out of it and I'm gonna refill it and hopefully we'll be back in business now a couple of additions I did to this top I really like this setup because it fills up here and this pretty much stays empty and what happens is this is dam here is lower than this and so it just kind of skims most of it off very rarely do I get any shavings in there and I decided well just in case I had some of this screen extra screen so that would just give me a smaller smaller debris to fall through there and then I added this because I was getting the oil in there still so I added this little filter and it's been doing a pretty good job keeping the oil out but I added it I only added it about a month ago so really was not in there long enough before um, I guess it already had contaminated all the fluid so I'm gonna give it a try again refill it and then I'll keep you updated I've only got just a little bit left of this cool mist and then I'll probably try to switch over to some uh, other kind of coolant I know that uh, Russ has tried uh, some different coolant he was using cool mist and I think he went with um, uh, I don't remember what else what he went with but uh, I'm gonna maybe he can chime in on this video and let me know how it's working out for him uh, if you guys have used this cool mist and you you're switched over to something else and you like it better uh, chime in and let me know what I really like about this is it's biodegradable so I don't have to worry about dumping it and um, there's no fumes or any of that kind of stuff so that's really a positive for me because I'm in a small shop so I'd like to try to keep those same qualities without the staining of the work so anyways I guess that'll wrap up this video thanks for all your support guys let me know if uh, you've got any suggestions for keeping your coolant cleaner and uh, maybe if you have a solution to this issue right here that'd be great too Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you're interested in any of the plans for the uh, CNC conversion, stop by the website. Thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.